it's smelly in here. And to fix that, we're gonna be deep cleaning this interior today. Let's do it. So you're not gonna need much to deep clean your interior. The three things I got are a carpet cleaner, which is great for getting in those deep areas, a protectant for after we clean it, and then a thick disinfectant and cleaner that'll help get all this nasty smell out. But the most important thing we're gonna need is right here. This is the most important tool you can get when deep cleaning your interior. This is called a Rug Doctor Spot Cleaner. You can rent them out uh, pretty much anywhere. I think I got this one at Kroger across the street from where I work. It's about $30, it sprays water in there. Got a pretty good suction. It'll get all that rat turds out of my interior. Let's do it. All right, easiest way to clean your interior, these seats, they gotta go. Sometimes you find cool stuff in your interior, like this knockoff Leatherman I just found. It's got a, it's got a, two knives, a flat head, two flat heads, a Phillips, and what's this? A little saw. Nice. Cool, just underneath the seat. That's mine now, I'm gonna keep, take that to work. First off, look how dirty that water is. Uh, you can see all the sediment and stuff. Oh yeah. It's like mud. It looks like coffee. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. That all came out of my seats, just my seats. That's crazy, man. That's really gross. Mm -hmm. It does actually, actually disgusting. If those dust particles could talk. Oh man, I don't, I don't wanna know. Thank you. Guys, that's it for today's video. As you see, it turned out pretty good. It's not perfect. Remember, this is a 30-year-old car. There are probably stains in here that have been here for 20 years, but it's cleaner, smells better, and it's the 80th of all interiors. So when you're wrenching on your little nugget like this, make sure you stay original.